Good morning guys, race day again, they come around pretty quickly on this channel. Um, so today I've got the Canterbury 10, let me just prop you down. Yeah, so I got the Canterbury 10 miler today, just had my breakfast, two che uh, two wheat bix some chia seeds. Mm. But it's a bit weird today, I actually... <laughs> I've been used to having like off-brand like Tesco's own Weetabix and then today I had the actual Weetabix and they don't taste as nice <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the off-brand ones. Um, yeah, got my electrolytes, going to be sitting on that. Um, just a little tip with drinking electrolytes and stuff before a race, you don't want to over-drink. Um, so I've got a 700ml here and I, that's all I'm going to drink all morning because the race is at 9, it's about half 6 now. Um, yeah, I just don't want to over-drink and then be needing to wee or have the need to wee during the race. Um, so I'm going to get into my race gear now, um, and then we're going to head out. I'm going a little bit early because I'm going to go help set up, because, um, you know, give back to the community and all that. Um, but no, it's my, it's my club, and they've asked me to help out, so um, that's what I'm going to do. So let's go. So guys got a beetroot shot here second time i've had it i had it the day before my race last time but i've been told by my instagram followers that you're meant to have it the same day as the race so it tastes disgusting we like to drink with coal packed full of nitrates so apparently it's meant to help you on race day Hey guys, so just warming up, been listening to some, my tunes, the motivational playlist. It's normally just some like R&B or rap or something. So yeah, just gonna do 10, 15 minute warm up, two, three K, um, and then head back, numbers on. Conditions are lovely. I'm not even gonna wear gloves, I don't think. And I always wear gloves. So yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, yeah, time to focus. Once you go to the top of this, there's a little downhill to an uphill. And up the top again, there's another one. Keep going, guys. Get up that hill. Come on, come on, Dan. Come on, Cole, stay nice, yeah, stay right. Yeah, then left, just up the hill. Go on, keep going on. Keep opening up. Go on, Dan, try and stay on him as long as possible. Little hill coming up. Come well on, Cole.
You can have a shoulder, but it's no worry there. In second place, with a time of 51 minutes 48 seconds, is Cole Gibbons from In Victory's Camp. We're back. Sorry, I didn't do a post-race interview at the Canterbury 10, just because it was so busy. Um, and without trying to sound uh, like I'm blowing my own trumpet, there were just so many people that I wanted to talk to and congratulate um, and speak to about their race. Just showered and all the hair. So yeah, number was 284. Um, absolutely smashed it. 51.48 was the overall time. Uh, massive PB. I uh, wanted to start 52, but if I'm, if I'm honest, after the first K, um, legs felt a bit tired. It was like, I'm not even sure if I'm going to get close to it. Um, Charlie Brisley won. Um, shock. He did 49.30 and he stacked it. His knees were covered in blood. So that's absolutely unreal. That puts him in the first um, under 23 in the UK. Um, and I think my time puts me seventh under 23 in the UK for 10 miles. So that's pretty decent. Um, yeah, let me just show you what I've got. Bottle of champagne, lovely jubbly. I mean, I don't drink, so um, that would likely get given to one of my supporters from the race. I've already given one of my other bottles to my coach, Sarah. It's kind of become a thing that I always give a champagne after um, I win it. Um, also got the team prize. So Victor got the first male team prize and then my second overall trophy. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I did get given the second lady trophy to start off with, but then we just swapped. So it's not the first time that I've been given a um, female trophy. So obviously, so I, must be, I must be doing something wrong. Um, and also won £100 for second. So absolutely smashed it. Really happy with that. Um, we're about to treat ourselves to Domino's for lunch. Don't normally have something like that. Um, but I think we've earned it. I'm severely dehydrated. Barely drank anything. Um... But I would just like to say, before I close out this vlog, thank you to everyone who showed their support today. It was just insane. Um, so many people cheering me on. So many people have sent me photos, videos. Um, so I really appreciate it. Um, your support does not go unnoticed. Um, and hopefully one day I can repay you all. Um, but yes, guys, thanks for tuning in for today's video. Race day vlog, new PB, calling the Caterpillar cake inbound. We didn't stop for a m and on the way home, but I will go there at some point. Um, yeah. On to the next one, got Southerns next weekend. Um, it's a bit hard to PB in a cross-country race, um, but hopefully, I think top 100 is my aim. I think I'll be tough with top 100. Um, but yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Really appreciate all your support. Please like, subscribe, it's free for you, and it means a lot to me. And I'll catch you in the next one.